Okay, today I'm going to be making bread and butter pickled garlic. I've never seen this done anywhere else, so I figured, what the heck, let's do an experiment. So here we go. I'm going to make it easy by using this Mrs. Wages bread and butter pickles seasoning packet. Just going to follow the directions on the back. You see me pour in the seven cups of sugar, and there's the seasoning packet. And now you're going to see me put in six and three fourth cups of white distilled vinegar. Yeah, this stuff's a diabetic nightmare. So I wouldn't recommend sitting there and drinking all this juice. A few pickles shouldn't be a problem. But you do you. Okay, per the instructions on the back of the packet, I need to bring this up to a boil. So here we go. Okay, it's boiled, so let's go pack some jars. And also for convenience reasons, I bought this big bag of already peeled garlic. Actually, I got two of them. And I've also got this chili de arbol. I think they're Mexican peppers, I believe, little spicy things. I'm going to use those because I have them, even though I think I do actually prefer fresh Thai peppers from previous cannings. So we'll put a few of them in the jar and fill it up with your garlic. Okay, now do your best to get everything settled in the bottom of this jar. Shake it, pat it a little bit. It dropped a little bit, so let's get some more in. <laughs> okay, now let's put in the hot brine. That brine level looks good, about a half inch. A little air bowls there. Don't know why I was slapping it like a newborn baby, but let's get the correct tool. There we go. I'm going to use this to get all the air bubbles we can. And putting my fingers in here is not going to hurt anything. Everything was sterilized. My hands were washed. And plus, this is going on a steam canner. It's going to kill everything for the 15 minute processing time. You just saw me wipe the top of the jar off, make sure it's all clean so it gets a good seal. And there's a lid coming out of some hot water. And make sure you put the ring on finger tight. Okay, the steam canner has come up to temperature according to the gauge on top. So now it's time to put all the jars on the rack inside. One thing they say do is make sure the jars do not touch the pot or each other, which you'll see me move them around to make sure this does not happen. All right, now we just need to place the lid back on it and wait till it comes back up to temperature. And it's back up to temperature. So now we set a timer for 15 minutes. Okay, the 15 minute timer went off for processing. So we can take it off the heat and set a timer for five minutes just to sit there and chill. Okay, the five minute timer's up. So I need to remove the lid and let it sit open undisturbed for 10 more minutes. This is all per the canner's instructions. Okay. 
Okay, the time's up, so let's remove them from the canner where they're gonna need to sit for 24 hours. Undisturbed, so make sure they seal. Okay, it's the next day. They're done. They look great. If you notice, I've removed the rings because you don't want a false seal. Nothing to hold it down. Tap on each one. They're concave, which means they got a vacuum. See? If you can. And if you look at the jar, you notice these say Atlas Mason on them. These are not ball jars. And these work great. And where do I get these from? I get them from right here. Classico. Pasta sauce. I buy this at the big box store, Costco or Sam's. You can get them at Walmart, but it's a good sauce and you get free jars. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming to my channel. And if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and share. Doing that greatly helps out my channel. See you next time.